Welcome back to another exciting episode from Thin Blue Whiskey, where Mike and Jay get into some Middle West spirits, pumpernickel rye, double barrel something, four grain, double cast collection, ported pumpernickel rye whiskey, aged in French tawny port casks. We're going to tell you all about it right after this. Jay, we're kind of on a rye kick tonight. Jimmy's not here. He's got family stuff going on. We just did your union horse, mm -hmm. and it was we're, a port. We're on a port rye kick. Yeah. So, Middle West. They're out of Ohio. Mm -hmm. This is a four grain, and it is made up of rye corn, barley, and red wheat. Red wheat. Red wheat. Mm -hmm. Not just wheat. Oh, and it's non, if you read their website, non-GMO corn. Ooh, fancy. Mm -hmm. So it's like extra health conscious. Orgasmic. Yeah. Organic. Yes, Organic. that too. Uh, thank you very much to my buddy Chad right here in Salina, who has been, I think, waiting for this review or waiting to get his bottle back because it has been at my house for a long time. So, Chad, I can finally get this back to you. But thank you for loaning this to us and uh, allowing us to tell you our thoughts. This is batch number one. Ooh, two, oh, we get two batch ones. Yeah, okay. yeah. So age five years, which I kind of like that. that. That can be really good for a rye. Uh, five years on a rye, typically pretty nice. And I don't know if the camera will pick up the color of this thing, but that is dark like maple syrup yeah. yeah this thing is finished uh in again french tawny pork casks so let's uh, see what we think okay i already like it <laughs> i already it's way different what'd you get first i got something very it's bready to me butter like that yeah salty like bread and uh, butter. okay yeah. so i maybe like a butter cookie oh yeah it's it's sweet and buttery yeah. and but there's a bready quality like a cookie yeah, almost like a sugar cookie uh if you were to take just a nice sugar cookie and melt butter over the top of it i'm hungry there's a little bit, listen, I don't know what the hell pumpernickel rye is. You were saying that it was just dark. I mean, there's, there's not really anything dark about this. Which is what, I mean. I mean, I like pumpernickel bread, so theoretically I like pumpernickel rye. Look at me, I like bread. So, damn. So do you. Whoa, that is an explosion of flavor. That's really good. Jay, that's better than your union horse. It can be. That's fine. I'm not mad about it. Because there really is mad. a. Mm, what is that finish? That's a little tart. Okay, you have not had the Von Payne, the Black Current. I've heard about it. That'll be a subject of another video when Jimmy's back. Torturing Jay. But, yeah. <clears throat> uh, it's a little bit tart, but not like Black Current. Um, it's more like a tart cherry. But without, like, maybe a, gold, a tart golden cherry? It's not like a bright red juicy cherry, but it's a little tart. Do you get any? Am I just crazy? Like, I think it's a little bit, makes your salivary glands kind of work over time. 
I feel like I'm the only one talking here, Jay. What? Are you I, putting, you've got to be putting your thoughts together. I am. Uh, trying to relate it to like one good thing, like raspberry tort, like a cake, like a, a okay. dense, buttery little icing on top. Torts are tart, right? Yeah, they are tart. The raspberry, okay. the raspberry on them makes them tart. Perfect. And it's kind of the berry, like there's a hint of that kind of fruit berry yeah. in here. Yeah, 100%. I mean, I'm in. It's that port barrel sends it. it this yeah. Is, this is solid. There's just a lot more full body flavors coming out of this glass than there was with the Union Horse. But this is also a four grain. But they're the same age, but same like barrel finish or similar. Like there should not be this much different. There, it just depends on how much corn's in it, I think, too, for how like the sweetness. Yeah. And the barley gives it that round, bready note. I mean, you can... Yeah. Depends on their, their grain. Like how much of each. I'll tell you, if you don't... Damn, that's good. There's a, there's a, a little bit of a, a, of a spice, like a baking spice to it, but it's not overwhelmingly rye. It's like, not... I don't think... It's not any more than some of the hotter, like, burp, like the higher rye bourbons, like... I can tell you, I don't know. So Jimmy, not a rye guy generally. However, we are doing a rye for beginners you coming could, up with the idea for that. You could probably sneak this into like a uh, a bourbon flight between some spicier, like proofy bourbons, mm, and you could hide this. Man, I don't know. I think we have it. I think we do it. This is so, so watch this video, Jimmy, before we do it. This is so different. I don't know if you could. That that I'm telling you, that tart that tartness of the raspberry tort. There's so much It's significantly different, and I don't think he would like this. If you're not a rye fan or a wine barrel finish fan, you're not gonna like this one either. Man. So stay away from this and the Union Horse Port finish. Yeah, that would both of them you will not like. Yeah. Um no. You have to like uh, port, like, port finish, yep. wine finish type barrels. This one, I'm just gonna say. What's the proof on this one? Ninety nine. Okay. I like it. It's better than the Union Horse, it in is. my opinion. No, I'm not gonna. It's disagree just with more. That. It's more full body. It's just. It's more complex. There just seems to be a lot more going on. The Union Horse is drinking up. Bottle of plums. I mean, yeah, good, but a lot of port. Mm -hmm. That would go great with a cigar, a light, a light-bodied cigar. Yeah, not probably a Connecticut because I think the spiciness of the <clears throat> Connecticut. But I think you might want the Oliva, the Gilbert Oliva one. And just a natural wrapper, just a yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe so, maybe a natural, clean and caramely and uh, padron natural. Oh, god, yes, that would go great yep. with the padron natural wrapper. Yes, man, that just okay. What's your mouth doing right now? Because my mouth is like I just drank a glass of wine, like I'm getting that, that kind of the grapey, I feel like my lips could stick together, like. Yeah, and and all the moisture has been sucked out of the inside of my mouth. Yep. This, listen, man, I, I'm telling you, stay the hell away from both of the this. If you don't. If you, you don't, don't like, like wine, finished anything. You, mm, you do not want mm -hmm. this bottle. If you're if you kind of like the wine finish, mm -hmm. highly recommend. It's very good. It's lots great. of flavor. Even if you don't like wine finish, I'd still, if someone offered this up, try it. You, yeah. you may not en enjoy parts of it, but the way, how well it's put together, it is amazing. Yeah. Like it's, everything leads to the next, everything yeah. flows well. It's a good, it's just a good whiskey. Chad, again, that's a, that's a great bottle, man. I really, I really dig it. I'm, Really appreciative that you let me borrow it for this review. 
Uh, sorry we didn't get Jay in here. Or, sorry, Jimmy in here, but... I'm just glad you didn't put a Sharpie mark on the label. Why? You want to know how much we drink? Oh, yeah. Don't pay attention to how much is left, Chad. I might have another drink out of this tonight. So, hey, we didn't mention it. Like, comment, subscribe. Yeah. Come along for the ride. We've got some new swag coming. I'm actually working on a, a t-shirt sure. design right now that's going to be pretty sweet. I think mm -hmm. it looks pretty good. Uh, got some hats. Got some blue glens. Uh, shirts are coming soon. So, you know, join the brotherhood, the sisterhood, Ben Blue Whiskey. And Jay, Jimmy, and myself, we'll see you next time right here. See ya.